so now I think I want to drop back down and continue trying to solve this grub puzzle now that we don't have to worry about like dying and being forced to walk back forever and ever. This is not the compartment I want for that puzzle. So what advantages do I have for being here? Just a soul mapa, which I don't need. Let's go in the chat for the grub. We're gonna get it, don't worry. I made a promise to the grub father. All right, so this is also not the place. It's lower. So I guess we just keep dropping. Guy was not expecting me to come at him as a pogo bomber. We got some geo caches over here that I guess we might as well go grab. Ooh, all kinds of geo to be had in this area. This poor guy here is just dead. Ooh. There are definitely some spots in this map set here in the Crystal Peaks where I can see how it would have been very advantageous to bring the Geoswarm badge. I keep calling them badges. The Geo Charm. Uh, the Geo Swarm Charm. There we go. Got it eventually. Yeah, I'd say that was worth it. A little bit of work. Get some Geo. Clear out some uh, some husks that have lost themselves. Oh, and a treasure chest for my... Oh, no treasure chest for my trouble. All right, how do I get to you? Way further left. So it's nothing we can get at right now. I think I'm on the very tip top of the grub platform. I think this is... Yeah. Rushing it. All right. Get a health back. Let's bomb rush it. See? It's easy. It's easy. Give me that G. Open the door, yeah? Yeah. Oh, it turned off the things. Yo, I like that. Let's do more of that. Oh, yes. And then this one will open this door and turn off the ones below. Yeah. Our crystal production? The crystal must flow, huh? How are we gonna sell our pure blue? <laughs> Look, if I gotta choose between crystals and grubs, I'm choosing grubs every time. That's just how it goes. We seem to have reached a spot where maybe leaving the crystal uh, peaks is advantageous to us and go take our newfound skills to another area. But I'm going to be honest, I'm very surprised that there did not seem to be another boss or at least a boss on top of... Um, having fought the guy for the bench. 
So I'm trying to think if there's another spot. I mean, I guess up from the other. Let's head all the way back up to the top of this and explore up there a little bit more to make sure that I didn't miss anything really obvious. What's the faster way up? Probably this one, because I don't have to deal with all the stupid laser dudes. The bench battle boss? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we, we did the fight with him, and it feels like that's supposed to be a multi-layer fight, but I didn't see him again. But there is still stuff to do higher up, so maybe that's what I'm missing here. Whoa, can't catch me, I'm too slippery. BBB will return, I think. Next time on Hollow Knight, Bench Battle Boss Part 2. Man, these elevators are sweet. So we gotta talk to some people about installing those elsewhere in the kingdom. Oh. Yeah, so crystal mounds and the spot where we got crystal heart. We don't need either of those. Let's keep going up, up, up. Here's this rancid egg spawner. I still haven't figured out what we're supposed to do about that. All right, so now from up here, what was the issue? We couldn't get, couldn't get up here. Couldn't get up and over over here, right? about over this way can I do anything here it feels like I should be able to right like That's what I'm supposed to be doing. A BBB and Hornet collab? They're gonna drop the hottest album of the summer, Neo. Up dash, or is that an outdoor? I So I don't have an up dash. I do feel like this is an out, like this is an exit to another area for sure, but it doesn't do anything for me because I can't get to it. And then this one over here, I can't get to either because there's too steep of a, like, slants here. I can't, like, kick up and over. What was that? Let me hear that. Oh, it's those guys. I think maybe we take this elsewhere. Maybe grab our new talents and head up to a different region. No cards to push. No, no push mechanics to give me, like, a leg up. I'm thinking that... The crystal caves was to get my hands on that new ability, and now we do something else with it. So we might go look around, like, um, green path, or is it fungal wastes? So there's deepness. No, so like here, bottom left, there's a couple spots in green path where we can use our new ability to get way, way further left. Um... Ancient Basin down there. I think that's the one that I was trying the other day and couldn't get anywhere with. So there's definitely some other spots to use it. Man, we didn't even find... We didn't even find a stag station in Crystal Peak. Crystal Peak is, like, obnoxiously difficult to traverse. I mean, I guess you can come in from either Dirt Mouth or from Forgotten Crossroad or the resting ground, so, like, they at least give you a lot of access points. But it doesn't change the fact that, like, I just... I feel like it is an irritating place to navigate. The view's nice, though. Alright, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let the knight enjoy this view. My water is empty. We're about halfway through the stream, so I'm gonna go take a minute and fill that up. 
if you have an empty water bottle, I'm going to suggest that you do the same thing. We'll come back here, redouble our efforts in a different area using our new ability and see what else we can find. So let's get ready for that. And I will be right back. All right. I am back. Nice and hydrated. Let's uh, let's kick out and get out of here into dirt mouth and then kind of regroup from there. Required pancakes during the break, Neo. I am immeasurably jealous. Yo, box mix or not, it's still delicious, I'm sure. It sounds really good. I can't complain, though. I had a delicious taco salad for dinner, so I will take what I can get. Yeah, like, there's a charm up there I can't get either. God. It looks so cool when we fly through. Is that a, VHS, a VHS tap we'll walk by? No, it's uh, it's the note that Cornifer leaves when you uh, when you leave a zone or he leaves his zone. I think it's his mask. I think it's like a business card. If so, like homeboy spending some money, he's leaving business cards just on the ground in the hopes that someone picks it up. I don't know that that's the best use of the funds. He used to be a VHS repairman. That's how he knows his way around Hollow Nest. Yo, so when we dash through now, because we have no switch to hit, we are just gonna dive all the way over here. So that is, oh wait, I can, I forgot I can cancel it. I'm just like an idiot. I'm watching myself careen through the sky. Worth it. You know what? Worth it. It's so cool. Superhero landing. Did you see that, brother? I did it for you. All right. Let's grab a seat. And then where do I want to go? So we got a couple in green path. So I'm thinking, you know, we're obviously green path is a pretty quick get to just stag station over. Um, I don't think there's really anything super helpful in Queen Station that we can do and like the fungal waste. Most of that's pretty explored. And then we have the one down in Ancient Basin. That's harder to get to though. So yeah, let's go check out the green path stuff. And then I'm thinking, right, like, so here I am kind of scratching my head about where we should go. We have a couple of zones that I've barely touched. Um, and Deep Nest is one of them, and Deep Nest we've had unlocked forever. So let's go hit those two kind of warp points in Green Path, and then try uh, try Deep Nest, um, just to kind of see what's cooking. Looks like a view in City of Tears. Are you talking about another spot we can use our new ability, Afterlife? Yeah, there's a couple spots that I didn't push over. Let's go to Green Path and check out these new cool Super Saiyan spots. Just syrup. The restaurant you work at makes strawberry compote and whip, though. That would be... Oh. Oh. A strawberry compote whip top pancake, Neo. It is it is ten thirty my time. I can't be I can't be thinking about pancakes like that. I gotta remember about the stupid explody boys. That's one of the fun things about Metroidvania games is like you leave a zone, you move on, and then when you backtrack to it, you've got to try and remember how all the freaking enemies work. Oh, you got Misha thinking about pancakes now. You're going to wind up making me go downstairs and make 12 o'clock pancakes tonight. Hey, 
if I gave in to peer pressure and went and made pancakes, my wife would be furious because I do not eat breakfast for dinner. I don't eat breakfast when it's not breakfast time. And it might be the most contentious thing in our marriage. <laughs> She's not even gonna try to deny it. She's like, yeah, no, for real. What the hell? All right, so I guess we try this new power out. Ooh, Trixie, check this out. Now we gotta get up and over. I don't know that I can get a good enough angle on the wall to make this jump, to get over. I'd have to get like right at the top of it, then jump and get over. So the problem is I can't, I can't use my air dash to get over that hump because I'm gonna need to get back over to cling to the next wall so that we can charge again. Oh, I jumped too high. That's the opposite of what I wanted. Go back and shoot off the wall. I don't think there's a wall for me to shoot off of over there. Is there afterlife? Yeah, it's just more spikes. Oh, well, wait, hang on. Interesting, interesting thought. No, huh, kind of. So wait, hold up. If I, if I immediately jump. All right. Oh, does it use, it doesn't. Wait, why was it not letting me do it? Oh, this guy's back. Well, that's fine, because we can farm him to heal. Whoop! I'm not paying attention. Damn it, are you kidding me? Alright. This is right into the spikes. I sat on the green path bench, right? I did. All right, let's go see if I can't stir up some more health. This is not where you stir up more health. You need enemies, because you need soul. First you find the enemies, then you find the soul, then you get the health back. It's a pretty simple equation. We need more head milk, exactly. And we need it fairly quickly. Ah, yes. My head milk repository. Let's go down and uh, check out the other one here in Green Path. Since this one appears to, I, you know, I think that if I finagle this one enough, we could figure out a way to do it, at least to make that next jump. But I get the impression that I am not intended to be there yet. So let's, um, let's not be there yet. You know what I mean? I'd rather progress than bash my head against what is probably not even where I'm supposed to be. Although I can't really be mad about progress tonight. We've actually, we've gotten quite a bit done in a short amount of time. Saved a couple of grubs. Probably worth going to check in with the grub father before we stop tonight. We uh, got our cool new flying ability. We supercharged our down strike ability. Missed path back up and then left. Are you sure? I've been that way. Bottom of up, down, center for green path left. You're talking in the dead center, there's that shot off to the right. We will check that out on our way back up. I wanna go hit this uh, other jump spot. And we'll go take a look at that. There's gotta be a reason I haven't done that because it's like right off the main area. Why don't we just not land in acid? That seems like the smartest play. Hey, hey the knight, have you thought about not doing what you just did? All right. 
I gotta remember that this level is the one that's designed for you to learn how to use the Mothwing Cloak. Yeah, peace, nerds. I'm not gonna deal with your nonsense. I will come down here and kill you guys for your head milk, though. There's more than one of you, yeah? Yeah. Is there three? No. This is the one, if I'm remembering correctly, we had to come through here and do a whole bunch of nonsense. And then there was a boss. I think this might be where we saved Zote. Where we fought the big fly thing. Didn't realize you made it down here. Yeah, we came down here fairly early. Um... But I must have run into something that made it so that I couldn't progress here. It was probably this. So let's try with our new superpower. Yeah, because we made it up and over here, but then we hit a like a literal wall because we couldn't go anywhere. The big guy with the flies. Yeah, I think that we screwed around over there. Yeah, we got this grub. And then now... We've got spikes, so I can't... They won't let me wall launch. They've cleverly knocked that out as an option. So we're gonna have to pogo? This is why I didn't do it, because I wasn't good enough at pogoing. But now I'm a little better at pogoing. There we go. How about that? Huh? Though once our lands, a pale being lays claim to the caverns ahead. It may appear benevolent, but it does not share our dream. Be wary to wander that place. Okay, well, so, but then how do I get over there? Up, up and over here? What's going on over here? Ooh, yes! All right, so we only need one more of those to increase our mana. Imagine just trying to walk and something you can't see just repeatedly hits you from above. Yeah, but he, I didn't hurt him. This shell's sturdy, he was cool with it. So wait a minute. Can I not progress over that way? Cause we, we just ran into a, uh, We just ran into a spot that I don't think is going to let me continue. So we can trigger this, but then I can't do anything to knock this down. So this is perhaps just another dead end, unfortunately. I mean, look, is it a dead end? Yes. Did it also get us a mana vessel? Yes. I'm guessing that that is there for lore purposes more than anything, that message that we just got. And um, we actually come at that from the other side. That would make sense. All right, let's go take a peek at that other spot that I, for whatever reason, just never engaged with. And then I guess had the deep nest. Deep Ness is where all the spooky bugs live, though. Alright. Head up and out. It's harder to get out of here than it is to get down. Man, it's so funny now that I'm so much more comfortable with the mechanics of the actual, like, platforming. Because getting through that segment, I remember being a huge pain in the ass with the guys shooting at me. And now it was literally just like dip dip do dip dip do. Kind of like that. Did you get every of the two bosses you left behind? One was the big grub, the other was the jumpy guy. What jumpy guy? Oh, you're right. Hang on. Where was the jumpy guy? 
the guy that spit the magma out, right? Is that who you're talking about? I don't remember where he was. I might have beat him. I don't remember jumping. Fluke Marm, definitely we did not kill. Fluke Marm right now has a name tag that says, hello, my name is Ruiner of Chris's Day. Oh, I'll just casually take some, some map damage here. After you defeated Zero, did you go back to the Seer? I didn't. That's a good point, though, because I got a bunch of um, essence. We should do that, too. We should go and see the seer to be like, yo, what up? How much essence did you need? Because did, did they give us a number? I want to say the seer said 100 would do it. So we should totally do that. Because seer was like, yo, your dream nail's pretty sweet and all, but like it could be way sweeter. And uh, I like the sound of a even cooler dream nail. Yeah, so this is the area afterlife where I've got the pathway that we couldn't get through. Go to the stone sanctuary. Uh, we must not have, because I don't know what stone sanctuary is. Nope, there was literally nothing stopping us from doing it. It's just been here this whole time. Ooh, lightning bugs, huh? You're not an enemy, you're just a trap. Got it. Are you there to teach me that? And now there's going to be more of you elsewhere? What? Stone Sanctuary is on my map? I don't see it. I think Deep Nest is the target here, because Deep Nest, if we can get all the way through it, looks like it might get us to one of the Dreamers. In Green Path. Lake of Un. Uh, yeah, it looks like we've been there. I don't remember what is there. Was that, um, is that Leg Eater? I think that's one of the NPCs. Just go ahead and cheat that, thank you. Thorns of Agony. Yo, is this... Senses the pain of its bearer and lashes out at the world around them. When taking damage, sprout thorny vines that damage nearby foes. Yo. I got some thoughts about what we can do with that. Leg eaters and fungal wastes. So let's go back over to Stone Sanctuary right quick and take another look. Because I don't remember what's over there. And then we'll go see the Seer. And then we'll head to Deep Nest. We might be getting ourselves uh, into a position where we don't get a ton of time in Deep Nest before the end of the stream. But maybe I will go a little later if we're on a roll. Hey, come on. I'm walking here. Well, dashing. I was dashing here. I don't know that. I don't know that how Ness pedestrian laws cover dashing. So it's not this one because that goes to a bench. But speaking of, we might as well go to the bench. That's right. I really like this bench. I think this is like a really cute spot. In fact, I'm gonna screenshot it. All right, so now this is it. Jumper, come on. Oh, you idiots, you jumped right into your death. Oh wait, did this terminate in a jump that I couldn't make previously maybe? No. What was this? Stone Sanctuary. Did I just never do this? Yeah, I guess I found this, but then just never came inside. 
It's an awfully big building. I love that they've just muted out all the sound. Like we are just straight up in a mausoleum. Oh, you know what? I probably poked my head in here and didn't do anything about it because we didn't have the lamp. Oh, let's go. All right, awesome. So we're one off on that now as well. Excellent. Thank you so much, Neo. Good call. Yeah, so is this just like a dark maze? What? Oh, it's another warrior fight. This is like zero. No eyes. What a cool looking bug. My child, can you still see? Please. Don't hurt me. Can't sleep with your eyes open, little one. Can't dream if you're still breathing, little one. Precious children, you speak such loathsome things as you sleep. Your claws scratch and scrape. Precious children, a monster has come for us in the dark. Will you sing for me? Challenge the warrior dream. I mean, yes is the answer, right? Just realized I've been on data this entire time. No. All right, warrior dream. Here we go. This one does have a spot below us that is damaging. Ooh, look at this tricksy shit. Yo, it's straight up singing a lullaby at me. This is so creepy. All right, get a heal in. This is kind of like, um, who was it? Mantis Lords, where I eventually figured out, like, sometimes to get the space I need for a heal, the best thing is to not move. Oh, shit. Falling out of the spikes doesn't help, though. Yo, this whole vertical shaft is the combat arena? to see it at least it doesn't end the fight if you hit the spikes like they could have absolutely done that Ooh, we gotta heal. i wasn't healing oh maybe it was because i was in my invulnerability state yo the sound from this lullaby is a low-key banger I need to heal. I would also like enough soul to get some bonus heals. Oh. But for that, we need no eyes to get to a place where I can hit them. Mm. I need another hit to get another heal. Hits for heals, hits for heals. All right, all right, don't lose it. Calm down. It, it's most dangerous when I gotta make these like blind leaps to try and find no eyes. The lullaby is such a cool mechanic here because it's also like you do this fight with echolocation instead of your eyes, kind of simulating how no eyes probably uses their senses it's very cool no give it up if it's gonna be too much of a stretch if you gotta do too many jumps just wait they'll cycle back look at how many freaking spirit things are going on now Gotta be getting close. Mm. 
Come back down. I want you at the low ones. You're at the one, one up. No, no! All right, we're gonna give it another shot. That fight's fun. And we're not far off. Rip indeed. I can't like, I can't give up so many hits early in the fight when it's still relatively simple. I gotta save my hit points as best I can. And that includes with these Jamokes. Let's try and get some soul off them at least though. You can dry the tears, y'all. We're gonna get it this time. We're running it back. I'm in love with this fight. We are gonna get a chance to get our Geo back free, it looks like. Well, not free, I took damage. Double damage. Hate to see it. So now we are gonna be entering with zero soul. Bummer. Yes, we will challenge the warrior. Of me. I like false started on that jump. That was so weird. I mean, I'm almost tempted. It makes the whole fight go longer, but like, why would I chase up the kind of dangerous blind jumps? If I can just wait until you're in a spot I can attack you. I feel like it's much more manageable down here, so... I mean, this might be the coward's way out, but like... I'm not gonna lie, it seems like the smart coward's way out, too. Yeah, like, get punished. Unless it's time for more ghosts. But even when there's more ghosts, like, this is my biggest dodge platform. You did the same thing? Well then look, Neo, you are much more experienced in this game than I am. So it is no longer a coward strategy. This is a brilliant strategy. Because on the last warrior fight, I didn't even think to jump off and heal underneath like you were saying. This boss fight is so cool. Were these boss fights always part of the game, or were these added in one of the updates? See, look, I left my little perch, and I got punished. Come back down, come on. She might not come back down after a while to kind of avoid this strat. It's, nope, false alarm, she's here. Okay, don't get so anxious, Chris. You're just throwing away health. Don't let it be double damage by falling into the pit as well. It's your worst case scenario. Two shots. It's good. Can you imagine if you're the knight and you didn't know or didn't understand your dream powers yet now with the nail and you're just in this creepy mausoleum and start hearing this? You'd plot. You'd like, you would absolutely plot everywhere. Come back down. Gotta be getting close. Plort? Not quite a plort, but almost. Similar, similar energy. Might as well cap that while I'm doing it. Yeah, look, now it's like ghost central. Like, why run that gauntlet when I can just wait and pick my spots? See? Come on now. Look, does it make for a speedrunning time that I'm proud of? No. But the the knight has stuff to do. The knight has obligations 
throughout Hellenest that don't involve dying. So you just gotta get it done. One by one, their eyes closed at last. I felt it, a warm stillness falling over us. I'm sorry I was frightened of you. You were always protecting us, even when we couldn't see you. Take us there, please. A place where light cannot haunt us. A place without dreams. Please. Yo, the warriors... The warriors, uh... They hook it up. You get crazy essence from a warrior fight. 